All right, let's get started. As you can see here, I have a list of games that I have played during my childhood, and I'm going to be ranking these games today. Starting all the way from the first one to the last one, these games defined my childhood entirely. We're just going to start. We're just going to start with the first one. Crash Twin Sanity, you know, it's not a bad game. It's not really a bad game. I'd play it again, you know, after revisiting it a few times. It I kind of saw like how buggy it was how like rushed it was and how you know if if you know if they just worked on it a little bit longer they could have made it a little bit better but you know the game is very much broken ways such as you can speed run the entire game in probably two hours or less still fun just very broken so because of that, it's going to go and see. All right, second one. We have KO the Kangaroo Round 2. This game I revisited very recently. So much as I tried to 100% the game, although I don't think I ever did yet, but I'm going to. I've beaten the game. I just need to go back and get all the collectibles and stuff. But when I played this game, it was actually very challenging. Like, I, I don't know how I did this shit when I was younger, but... Damn, they're actually rebooting the series right now. They they're releasing teasers for a new KO the Kangaroo game, and I'm very excited. Like I would put this game at an A because of how much fun and how challenging it was for me. As you can see, I have a lot of games on here that were based on movies. I I I, I was very basic. <laughs> a lot of my games were based off of movies at the time but that's just the kind of stuff I like to play. Ratatouille, me personally, uh, comparing it to the Xbox 360 version, which is the one that I had, and I, I also had the PS2 version. Honestly, I like the Xbox 360 version more, but even then, I don't, I, I don't really enjoy it as much as I thought I would. Personally, I think it's time to bury this one, so I'm putting it at a D. Um, I really enjoyed the game. I also really enjoyed the movie, but <laughs> out, of, out of both of those, the movie is better. The movie is way better. All right, next up, we have the B-movie game. Oh boy, you like jazz? Um, this one I'm putting at an F. I went back and watched a video from the Game Grumps where they played this game. And, you know, I'm gonna be honest, I didn't really enjoy it. It, it looked very boring. Like, they made a lot of points in the video saying how the game was basically job simulator for part of it and then the rest of it was like you know some action some adventure scenes but the rest of it is basically doing jobs inside of the hive where the whole world is and it's 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 not as great as i remember so the simpsons hit and run this game i'm gonna put this one in a b i'm gonna put this game in a b because it was a it was actually probably the first platformer game that i played like when i got my when i got my playstation 2 this is probably the first game that i played with it i wanted a game that was sort of like the games that i had played before like you know ratatouille uh b movie i played these games first but then i moved up and got a ps2 and simpsons hit and run was the first game that i played on the console here we have kung fu panda the game i'm gonna put this one at a c I put that one in a C because I know I didn't I didn't revisit it at all recently, but I know for a fact that I had a lot of fun playing that more than any of the other games combined. Because not only were there like there were levels and there was like some extra stuff that was cut out of different versions of the game. Um, I played it on the Xbox and the PS2. Honestly, like I I I would give anything to revisit this game. Because not only is it a good game, but I haven't played it in so long, nor have I actually seen it in so long. But I just remember it, and I remember how much fun it was. <sighs> Alright, next one. Here we have Meet the Robinsons. I'm gonna put this one at a, um, D. While, um, I did enjoy this game quite a bit when I was younger, I realized now that the game is very low budget. You start you start to realize how low budget the game actually is whenever you see like the menu screens and stuff like that. Um, but the cutscenes, the cutscenes in the game, 
don't look too bad. Um, graphics could be a little bit better, I think. Compared to Kung Fu Panda, the graphics on this, actually, they're not too bad. Actually, not too bad. You know what? Scratch that. Scratch that. No, no, no. I'm gonna put it at a C. I'm gonna put it at a C. It's not terrible, but it's not great. I'd play it again, probably, but as I said before, it is very low budget, and it becomes apparent how low budget it actually is whenever you're playing it. Moving on, we have Mario & Luigi Bowser's Inside Story. This game, I'm gonna put it at a B? Either a high B or a low B. Actually, thinking about this now, I'm gonna put Crash Twin Sanity in between Kung Fu Panda and Meet the Robinsons, because Kung Fu Panda is a very high C for me. Fuck it, it's going at a high B. I don't give a fuck. I played Bowser's Inside Story a lot more, probably whenever I didn't have my PlayStation. When I got my DS, that was almost all I played. Um, even, like, for a little bit, abandoning my PlayStation 2. When I picked up my PlayStation 2 again, I put down my DS. So it was like, you know, I was constantly switching back and forth. Here, uh, we have an Xbox 360 game called Dead Rising 2. Some of you, some of you, um, may be a little bit confused with this one. Um, I was a 2000s kid, and I enjoyed these kind of games at the time. Um, I still have Dead Rising 2 on my Steam, and I have the original Dead Rising on PS4. As far as how much I enjoy the game now, um, I'd probably put it, oof, I'd probably put it at a low B. Low B, yeah, low B, that makes sense. Um, not really much to say about this game. I played it with a few of my friends online, and I also played it with um, a friend of mine who I knew in person at the time. Cars the game, I'm gonna put it at a D. That's all I'm gonna say about it. It's, <sighs> I went back and watched this game recently. It's boring to watch. It's not terrible, it's just boring. I don't, mm, I don't really like it. I don't really like it. You know what? Actually, I'm gonna put it at like a high F. High F. Yeah, there we go. Sly Cooper 2 Band of Thieves for the PS2. This game... Oh my god. Where do I put this game on the tier list? I don't know where to put it. I, I legitimately don't know where to put this game. <laughs> because I, I... I played it a lot. It was probably the first 3D platformer game that was like you know, unfamiliar to me. Like, I played this one first because I didn't know what it was and I enjoyed the cover of the game. So I was like, hmm, you know, I, I've never seen this game before, but I guess it's mine now. I'm gonna play it. So I played it for a little bit. Um, it was really fun. And I, you know what? I went back and beat the entire trilogy recently and Sly 2 was by far the best one. So... Where I'd put it on a tier list, I would have to say it's an S. Sly 2 Band of Thieves is an S from me. That's my final answer. Voodoo Vince. I went back and revisited this with the remastered version on Steam. Um, I don't have an Xbox anymore. I got rid of it a long time ago. But I did play the original version on the Xbox. And it was a lot of fun. It was a lot of fun. Would I go back and play it again? Yeah, definitely. Um, where I'd put it on this list, I don't really know. I, I probably want to put it at a middle, I'd put it at a middle B, middle B, right here, right about there. Yeah, that looks right. That looks about right. Yeah, actually, mm, there. Yeah, well, mm, yeah, there we go. We have Sly Cooper 2 Band of Thieves as S tier. We have KO the Kangaroo Round 2 at A tier. We have at B tier Mario and Luigi Bowser's Inside Story, Simpsons Hit and Run, Voodoo Vince, and Dead Rising 2. At tier C, we have Kung Fu Panda, Crash Twin Sanity, and Meet the Robinsons, all of which are good games. Um, could be better, but they're not terrible, and I'd play them again, definitely. Uh, Ratatouille, I'd play it again, but probably not willingly if I had nothing else to play probably but you know I wouldn't seek it out or anything 
um, Cars and B Movie, they're both really boring games. I don't know how I put up with them back then. If you would like to, I will put this tier list in the description so you can rank these games for yourself. Um, other than that, I will see you all very soon. This is Tanner McDaniel, signing off.